Alhamdulillah <laughs> We're still doing our Tajweed class today. Well, alhamdulillah. Could you hold it for me? Toss this to me, please. And today we're dealing with Mutajanisaini. We're dealing with the subject of Mutajanisaini. Already, we, we started off this chapter with Mutakarib Muthlaini or Mutakaribaini, and now we're doing Mutajanisaini, okay? Now, Mutajanisaini has the same type of three rules that we went over. First, first let me define it. Let's put up here Mutajanisaini. 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 Okay? And the Mutajanisaini is the two letters, two letters, harfani, two letters that alladhani ittafaqa makhrajan wa ikhtalafa sifa. So, there are two letters that agree with the same makhraj, but they have different sifat. Okay? They agree with the same makhraj, but they have different sifat. Like what, Zainab? Ha and ayn. So you have the word like fasfah anhum in that regard. So they agree in the makhraj, the point of articulation, but they disagree in the what? Sifat. sifat. And sifat are different. Right? And if you went over master letters, you would know what your sifat are. That's what the preparation for tajweed is master letters. You good, man? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. So the, uh, the, um, the bait goes, Oh, Yakuna. Oh, Yakuna. Oh, Yakuna. Tafaka. Tafaqa fi makhrajin dun as sifatin. Naam, sifati hukkika. Hukkika. Aw yakuna, aw yakuna tafaqa. في مخرج دون الصفات دون الصفات دون الصفات حقق بالمتجانسين بالمتجانسين okay now it says or say or Yakuna, the two of them are. Yakuna means the two of them are. And it's referring to what? The two letters. The two letters are ittafaka, in agreement. In agreement. Fi makhraj, with regards to their makhraj. Meaning they come from the same makhraj. Duna, not or without, not regarding, sifat. Not their sifat. Okay? Hukkika. This is the reality for them. Okay? You understand? You, the hukm, the reality for these is bil mutajanisain. Okay? When we do the tahqiq, we find that these are called bil mutajanisaini. These are called mutajanisaini. Okay, they're from the same jints. If you want to see what this word comes into, it's walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. They're from the same jints, gender. Okay, they're from the same gender. Okay, so that's what these two letters are, and it's a real simple. There are three types. What are the three types? Sagir. Real easy lesson. What is it? Kabir. And the other one is? Mutlaq. Okay? So it's not going to be long. It's not going to take a long time. 
Take this off the board. So the mutajanisaini are the letters that are agreement in their makhraj, but disagree in their sifat. An example of that, if we remember when we started off this lesson, we said, Hamza fahaun thumma aynun ha'u muhmalatani thumma ghaynun kha'u. And we gave them in twos. Hamza fahaun thumma aynun ha'u. So ayn and ha, they come from the same makhraj. Thumma ghaynun kha'u. Ghaynun kha'u come from the same makhraj. Right? You, you, you get to see some of these letters. And if we remember when we went over to, to the master letters, we, we mentioned a few let words, or letters I should say, that sounded the same because they came from the same place of art, place, they sound the same. They came from the same place of articulation. Okay? From your two buck teeth, your dal and your tat. Right? These also letters that come from the same makhraj, but they have different sifat. So, what's the ruling when we say a sagir? We went over this before. Right, so we, we go back to the poem. It says, Thumma in second, awalu kullin fasagira samiyan. This is the prayer. We went over the same three lines over and over during this chapter because they relate to each style. They relate to the Mithlaini, they relate to the Mutaqaribaini, um, um, and they relate to the Mutajanisaini. Thumma in second, awalu kullin fasagira samiyan. Then, Thumma in second, if the first one is sukun, then you call it what? Sagir and Samian. For example, we have Fasfa, Fasfa, Anhum. Fasfa, Fasfa, this is not a Fasfa, Anhum. This is the Ha and the Ain. Okay? The first one is second, the second one is moving, Anhum. So we call this Sagir, because these two letters are mutajanisan, because they come from the same makhraj, but they have different sifat. Another one would be, Wakul Rabbi. Say, Wakul, say, Kul. Rabbi. So Rabbi here is going to be, this one right here, is going to have a sukun here, Rabbi. Okay? The lamb and the ra. And the ruling for this, for these letters here, is, in this case, it's Idram. You're going to say, well, you're going to say, Qur -rabbi. Qur -rabbi. the lamb is lost in that, okay? But this one we're going to say, Fasfah anhum. <coughs> so this is idhar. This is clear. You hear it. This one is eaten up. The ruling for the sagir is that it is idram, okay? I'm sorry. Idhar. It's going to be idhar, except for in a few instances, meaning you're going to pronounce each letter clearly. The rule is going to be what? Idhar. Idhar. In most of the cases. But there are cases like this one where the letter is going to be eaten up. I'm going to give you the examples. Now, there's going to be a few examples. Listen. Qad, say Qad. Tabayyana. Qad tabayyana. So what happens here? You no longer pronounce the del. And you say Qad tabayyana. There's no del now. Just like Qur Rabbi, you're going to say, Qatta bayyina. You understand that? The del drops in that. So this hukum is, in these exceptions, it's going to be what? Idram. What does idram mean? Dakhala shayfi shay. You notice how your tajweed strengthens up. So now you're going to enter this del into the ta, and it's going to become ta. Mushaddad. Qatta bayyina. The next one is going to be ujibat. Ujiba. You can say, well, it's going to start off uji, but, uji, but, right? But this is da'wa tu kuma, da'wa tu kuma. And this one here, uji, but, da'wa, the ta is not going to be pronounced, but the dal is going to be doubled. So it's going to say, uji, but, da'wa tu kuma. Say that? The, the dal, because the dal and the ta have the same makhraj, but now it's flipped. Like you said, katabayyana, and it's like, ujiba da'watukuma. The ta is not pronounced in this case. So again, the hukum here is idgham. Then we have another one, idhammat. We say, hammat. Hammat ta'ifatani. Ta'ifatani, okay? So we have ta'ifatani. But see here, we're going to say, idhammat ta. When you don't pronounce the ta, it is eaten up by the ta. Hammat so you don't pronounce the ta, you go straight to the ta. 
هم الطائفتان تفضل Again, إذ هم الطائفتان إذ ظلمتم say إذ right ظلمتم here the ظ is eats up the 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 ذال so it's going to say إذ إذ ظلمتم and the ذال is not pronounced why because these are muta janisaini same مخرج different صفات Ilvalamtum. You go to the sifat of the dha. Ilvalamtum. Ilvalamtum. Now, then the next one is yalhath. Yalhath. That's what it's, it says. Yalhath. Aslan. Thalika. Say thalika. Now here it's going to go. Yalhath thalika. Yalhath thalika. A little bit louder. Yalhazalika. And the last one, which is pretty well known. Irkab. Say Irkab. Ma'ana. But here the ba is going to be eaten. Because say Ib wa Im. Ib. Im. Say Makhraj, right? So here the meme eats the ba. You're going to say Irkab ma'ana. You hear how that goes? The ladies are here. So, yes. So, what time is the salah starting? Ten minutes, right? Right, okay. So, here is the, here is the, the, the idgham in these letters, okay? And so, you would have to learn these and get accustomed to them, okay? So, these are the exceptions. Otherwise, that, you would pronounce the the Sagir Mutajani Saini Sagir Idha. Like you have Fasfah Anhum. Say Fasfah Anhu. Each one being clearly defined. Okay? Take this off the board, please. The next one is we have Mutajani Saini Kabir. And we always remember that we says, Oh Hurrikal Harfani fi kullin fakul kullun kabirun. Right? Fi kullun kabirun wathaman hu bil muthul. That's how it goes. أو حرك الحرفان في كل فقل كل كبير وفهمه بالمثل. Okay, he says, أو حرك الحرفان. Or if both the harikat, if both the letters are moving, meaning they have a vowel sound over them, then you call both of those كبير. The صغير is in ثم in second أول كل فصغير سميا. The second one is أو حرك الحرفان في كل فقل. So understand it through the example that we're going to give. It's the same thing we've been going over for the last two lessons. Take this off the board, please. Thank you very much. Okay, let me just make sure it's dry. Right. Yes, thank you. Now, the second one is... This ruling here for the kabir is going to be idhar. Just so you know what the, the, the ruling for it is. The hukum is going to be idhar. What does it mean when we say idhar? That means you're going to pronounce each one of these letters very clear. Clearly and independently. So you don't have to worry about anything. They just get their rule. Here the rule is just to, to the, the, the point is just to learn and know that these letters come from the same makhraj. Okay? So we have an example. Um, for an example, you say seen and zay. Say seen, zay. Say is, is. You see it has the same makhraj? Is, is. But the difference is in their sifat. Understand that? Their sifat is different even though they have the same makhraj. So these are mutajani sani. However, in the example that I'm giving you, وَإِذَا النُّفُوسُ زُوِّجَتْ نُفُوسُ زُوِّجَتْ Say, نُفُوسُ زُوِّجَتْ So here we pronounce each one of them with إِذْهَا We don't join them two together. Why? Because the rule is أَوْ حُرِّكَ الْحَرْفَانِ فِي كُلٍ فَكُلٍ كُلٌ كَبِيرٍ So the rule is since both of them are moving, meaning they both have a vowel sound over them, then we pronounce them clearly and independent of each other. So the example, let me put it up here. وَإِذَا النُّفُوسُ 
زوجت 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 اوكي نفوس زو سي سو زو وإذا النفوس زوجت So here, su, zu. Su, zu. Su, zu. And that's what we do here. We pronounce each one of these clears, but we call this what? Kabir. We call this mutajanisani kabirani. Okay? Because they have the same makhraj, different safat, and they both have a haraka on them. Okay? The last one is what we call the mutajanisani mutlaq, the absolute mutajanisani, and that is what? When the first one is moving, remember the first one in second, the first one is sukun, and the second one is moving, right? Now this last one, the middle one, the kabir, is when they're both moving. So the last one is when the first vowel, first, sorry, not vowel, the first letter is moving, and the second letter, that is mutagenis, is not, it is second, okay? So we have an example of it. It's going to go, atadarun, atadarun. Atadaruna. Don't you see here that the ta, we say, say it. it. Now say id. id. It. 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 Id. It. They have the same makhraj, the same point of articulation. Id. id. The two buck teeth. It. it. You see that? But their sifat are different. And the first one is mutaharrik, which is the ta, ata. And the second one, the dal, is not. A dal, id. A tadarun. And the ruling is that these are pronounced idharan. Loud and clear, independent. There's no mixing of the sounds in that regard. Is that understandable? That is the end of it. So it's idhar when you do it sariya, except in the examples that we gave you, like waqur rabbi, as an example. Ujibat da'watukuma and the other things that we gave you as examples. Otherwise, that it's idhar, like fasfah anhum. Then we have kabir, that's when both of them are moving, like, like su and zu, when wa idha nufu su zuwijat. And then we have the mutlaq, when the first one is mutaharik and the second letter is sakin atadarun. And that is the lesson in completion for Mutajani Saini, and that completes what we have of Mithlaini, which is the same letter, come and type, Al Mutaqaribaini, it's not the same letter, but they're close. And now we have the Mutajani Saini, the letters that have the same gender, the same jints. They have the same makhraj, but they disagree in their what? And they're all of three types Sagir, Kabir, and Mutla. The Sagir is always when the first letter is what? Sakin. And the second letter is moving. The kabir is always what? When both of them are moving and have a vowel sound over them. And the mutlaq, the absolute, is what? The first, moving. the first one is moving and the second one is sacking. Hold on, I'm sorry. Is, uh, so, so idhar. idhar, I'm sorry. Yes, this is idhar. The ruling for the mutlaq here is idhar. Okay? The, the ruling for this, um, the mutlaq is idhar, to clarify anything. This ends the chapter. Did you have a question? أقول قول هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم هيا إخوان.